And CRISPR has an 11.39, which is rank 12. So uh, a decent amount of time between them there, but anything can happen. I don't know, it'll just be me on commentary. But we will talk to them when we're done here. Yeah, this will be a best of three. Uh, I don't think we have audio, do we? All we do is just very quiet. Let me, let me try the other one. But yeah, it's the best of three, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, uh, I mentioned that we have two separate timers because uh, Portal is timed in in-game time, so each runner has their own timer and that'll cut out their individual loads. So it might get desynced uh, over time, but that will, won't really matter. So yeah, uh, right off the bat, Connor is dropping some frames. CRISPR drops the radio, okay. Yeah, uh, talk about the movement for a bit. Uh, Valve tried to, f oh, unfortunately, Valve tried to fix bunny hopping, so Excellent. if you go over a certain speed, uh, the game just adds backwards speed to you to slow you down. But they didn't anticipate you going backwards, so you can gain a lot of speed that way. So the game thinks you're too fast and just makes you even faster then. Connor there grabbing the radio going for the button save glitch. Uh, if you grab the radio and save load at the edge of a button like this, uh, the radio will push you off the button during the save loads, but the game won't realize that you did actually get off the button, so it'll just get stuck. Which skips a lot of waiting for portals there and grabbing the cube and stuff. Quite convenient. Ah, oh, CRISPR misses it. Right. Tries forward again. Yeah, not doing it or failing it loses like 13 seconds, so if you miss it, it's worth it to just reload and try again. Rather than do the normal strat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bit of a rough start there for CRISPR. Yeah, Connor there grabbing the portal gun, going for the first save glitch. Uh, that'll be one of the main glitches in the run. Uh, if you save load at the edge of a portal, uh, the game will separate your body, which is where you shoot your portals from, and your camera. So your camera will stay in the same place, but your body will get transported to the other portal. And they like stay separated like that, so you see them shoot at the floor or at walls there. But the portals will actually be shot from some other position. Which is where his theoretical body is. So yeah, CRISPR going for the same there. You see him shooting the elevator there and it doesn't land anywhere seemingly. There you go, yeah. Also what you saw Connor do there. Uh, save glitch also messes with your collision. So uh, there he just save glitched and walked straight through the door. And he actually preserves the save glitch into this chamber and we'll do the same thing here. Shoot the border and boop. Right through the door. Yes. That's a, that's a pretty big lead here for Connor at the start. Probably like 20 seconds, if not more. It is pretty my major, given that it's only the start, but can easily be made up anywhere, especially near the end. Well, Chris is not happy. <laughs> Part of a required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would yeah. not monitor this chamber. And there, where Chris was at right now, you have to wait for dialogue anyway, so you can kind of just mess around for a few as seconds. Part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. Let's okay, see if Connor gets this jump. Should be free. Ah, uh, puts his portal too high, so he hits his head on the ceiling. Let's see here. There he is. And yeah, what you saw him do there is uh, you can also do ABH, which I guess I didn't name, but that's the backwards movement. Accelerated back hopping. You can also do that in pretty much any other direction, not just backwards. As long as you can trick the game into thinking you're not going in the direction that you're actually going. So if you look forwards, you can hold S, for example, and the game will think you're going backwards, but you're actually going forwards. Also, Connor there getting ABH over goo. Very hard stress. If you are with really precise movement there, you can just 
uh, ABH out that whole chamber without doing anything really. Ah, uh, CRISPR having some issues with this angle there. However, right. sets up again. Yeah, there he is. And yeah, what you saw Connor do there is uh, he shot under the door. Uh, CRISPR doing some command, okay. But yeah, uh, most doors in the game have like a trigger to them where if you try to shoot a portal under it, uh, it doesn't work and the game will just frizzle your portal. But that door doesn't Please for unknown reasons. Crisp is not doing too well here. Good luck. Yeah, that is Very pretty big media for Connor, but we, we never know what happens needs. near the end, especially the escapes. Sometimes you just forget how to do those <laughs> and can lose like half a minute. It does happen to the best of them. Right, Connor, now we have the second gun here. Yeah, now that we have, uh, now we can shoot both portals, uh, we have quite a few more options in terms of safe glitches since we're not limited by one of the portals being pre-placed by the map. So from now on, most maps will just be save glitch as early as possible, shoot portals Hello to the end again. of the chamber that way, and then get out and into the elevator. Chris. Ooh, Crispo with the door launched. That's nasty. Yeah, there too, with really precise movement, uh, you can strafe into the bottom of the door, which is a little slanted, and that way get like a boost high up, and that way you can skip the ending there and straight into the elevator. Chris, Crisper has been known to beat better players. He did beat the world record holder, M. Sushi, very recently. Lost the first game on that as well, but then just then just crushed him on the others. Oh, Connor going for the reportal and gets it second try. That's pretty good. I wouldn't give CRISPR the win for that. I mean, CRISPR got door launch, but Connor got ABH over Goo, so... Kinda evened out, I guess. Yeah, I'd say... Uh, it's a little hard to tell because of the time of desync and stuff, but... I think Connor is probably about a minute ahead. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. I'm sure you bore us this time, but it's, it's the swag, the wee pole swag, dude. No, okay, actually not a minute ahead, more like 40 seconds. It's Connor's lead here. Yeah. Uh, here we'll see 16, 17 church preservation. You'll see him kill that church. Save glitch to put a portal under the elevator. Uh, and get the safe glitch. The there he is, yeah. Uh, activates the elevator. Safe glitches again. Portals the turret in there. Puts the portal under there. Now he's safe glitched. And under the elevator, he's got a portal and a turret. So in 17, here you can use his preserved safe glitch to reactivate it here and jump through the glass. And then grab the turret that way. Because the whole elevator shaft is like kept the same between two consecutive maps so that way you can bring the toad into the next one also another button save glitch here very precise gets it eh. a few tries on that android the enrichment center once again reminds you that android hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defi Yeah, I think, uh, Hana, not too much ahead now. About a chamber ahead, which is like the vital apparatus and will deliver a 20 seconds, I want to say, in three, maybe. And will deliver a weighted companion. And will deliver oh, I'm having, having some trouble with the 18 save glitch, though. Ooh, has to redo the whole chamber because he didn't put a save anywhere. That's unfortunate. Yeah, on Crisper's side, there was maybe a little more clear what happened. Since he just put a portal, went under the LE and grabbed the turret from there. 
However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test. And the button sake was awkward though. I don't think that toad is gonna fall in though, yeah. Yeah, uh, funny enough, uh, most or all of the toads, I don't know, uh, most of them in chamber 16 are just called cube, because in that chamber you're supposed to put them on buttons and activate the buttons that way. Uh, and luckily, buttons accept any prop that's named cube, so that's pretty convenient there. And uh, as well as the uh, incinerator, we're we really supposed to burn the companion cube. Uh, Connor on the left there, going for double lag, uh, stands for large angle glitch. He puts a portal on that angled surface there, his orange. And if he jumps through this one with, in a specific way, the game will think he's stuck and tries to unstuck him very hard and teleport him. Uh, like across half the map there. So I'll just land in the middle of the goo there and just make it out barely. Yeah, that's the first one and here he sets up for a second one. And that should put him... Ah, uh, slightly misses it. Yeah, depending on like your your angle and your portal angle and stuff, uh, that determines where you land. So you have to be kind of precise with your shots there and your movements to hit exactly the tiny space you want to hit, which is the little hallway there and not land out of bounds. Yeah, EO save glitch. One of the newest strats in the game. I was moderately quick. Gets it, nice. Oh yeah, still about about a chamber difference or map dif difference between them. Which is like 20 to 30 seconds lead for Connor. So let's see, uh, he's got two more maps to go through. The quick shots there, pretty nice. Ooh, nice ending. Connor on the right having some troubles finding his shots. And he's out of bounds, unfortunately. Oh, no mind, he, he found a shot somewhere. Yeah, Connor there going for the AAG, A AAGs, which is acute angle glitch. Basically same thing as the large angle glitch, just a different angle. And with those, he can uh, put a toad into the GLaDOS room and shoot her that way, and that'll make her immediately drop all her cores, which is very convenient. Uh, here goes for an edge glitch right there, which puts a portal on the side of the incinerator. So you can portal all these cores, and then they immediately hit the incineration trigger, rather than like falling into it and him having to press the button to open the incinerator and stuff. And he finishes with an 11.39. That is Christmas PB. <laughs> So, uh, either way, it would have been hard for CRISPR to beat. Don't end up here. So did that, did that beat CRISPR's BB? No, it didn't. CRISPR has an 1139.16. Yeah. Not really. Ooh, misses the map load trigger as well. Unfortunate. Don't end See where his last save is. Uh, all right. That's not too bad. Yeah, not, not quite Christmas Day. Let's hope he can prove his worth on the next game. Yeah, what you see Crisper do right there is the first AG you see, and just teleports him away. And that one's kind of precise. To shoot that portal, which he shoots there as he goes through, you have a two tick window, which is 0 0.03 seconds. It's that's a little, a little, a little percent. Hmm, second one here. Boop. Ah, slightly misses it. Doesn't quite land in the right spots. Should we shoot that pool? Around? There he is. You also have to be careful there to not go too far into the glass room. You want to like stay close to the wall there, because if you move in, uh, her dialogue will start, and that'll actually make like every prop outside of her big fight room disappear. And you, you need that choice. Oh! Shoots the wrong portal. And so, if you're edge glitched and you shoot not the portal that you're edge glitched on, uh, it can just teleport you through, which happened there. I just. <laughs> Chris before fit that round. Fair enough. Not sure where his last save is. That's, that's, that's round one for Connor.
We we'll immediately get into game number two here. And we see both of them kind of practicing the things that they mainly messed up in the last run. Yeah, the movement that Crisp is doing right there is a little precise and hard. You have to like get enough speed to make it over the gap onto the portal gun, and then optimally you wanna like go past the portal gun so you don't get stopped, but also pick it up, which can be hard. Uh, let me activate the. Oh, there we are. Ooh, Connor almost dies. She's playing the risky game. Yeah, you can do some funny things there in the vaults, since when you get out of the bed it takes like a few seconds to actually close. And if you get anything in there in the meantime it just gets stuck and gets super charged up with energy. You try to up the volume. Please refrain from yeah, game number two, let's let's see how this one Yeah, CRISPR this time not losing the radio. Now we can go for the OO button save glitch. Basically same thing as in 01, but you can also do that. It's quite minor, saves like a second. Two maybe at maximum. Oh, it doesn't get it though, yeah. It's so minor, and most people already reset enough in 001 as it is, so a lot of people don't go for it. Oh, uh, hopefully, uh, eh. Yeah, he has to go quick here. Because you have to be done with this button save glitch before the portal closes behind you, and that's on a timer, and you kind of went a little slow there. So let's hope we can still make this portal cycle. Oh, we can. Just barely. You're doing very well. Please it's, once again, the lead for Connor here at the start. Oh yeah, when you do the button save glitch, uh, you don't just save load once, you save load, like, a lot. Essentially what you want to do is you want to save loads. You want to have, like, a one-tick window between two save loads, I think, or something like that. What you want to do is you want to save load a lot and hope that you hit that perfect timing, like, once. So that's... It looks like they're just loading for, like, 20 seconds sometimes. It's a little weird. I, I don't quite get how exactly it works myself, but yeah. Just save load a lot with a certain timing and then it works. See. Ah, CRISPR. Well done, Bunty. Yeah, that jump can be a little tricky. Because you have to shoot the portal, but right as you shoot it, the floor below you uh, becomes non solid. So you have to also make a jump, and then only like the floor right in front of the orange portal there is solid, and so you have to make quite the far jump. Not quite the best start here for CRISPR once again. So we can knock this one out of the park. Yeah, that's the thing, when you're, when you're up against an opponent who's like a minute faster than you in terms of his PB, you pretty much just have to hope that you get very lucky on your run and that your opponent gets very unlucky. <laughs> kind of chokes things. Smooth chamber six on Connor there. Chris will jump in BSG. Uh, might have tried on the first one since he was so short on time, maybe. I thought it looked weird. No, I think it was just off on the timing. Maybe, I don't know. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and 
Yeah, we just use the button save glitch. There's been some new ways to do it, kind of brought up recently. The normal way is to just like get on the edge and then walk off. As you say, though, but you can also like jump off and then save load. Any way to get off the button really works, so like jumping and walking off, and stuff like that. But the most common way to do it is just walking off. Connor failing ABH of a goo there. But he gets the backup. Followed by death. Good luck. Very impressive. Please yeah. note that any appearance of Once again, Connor a device to about the chamber ahead. Which is like mm, 15 seconds, I want to say. Maybe 20. Connor with a really fast shot under the door there. Yeah, the issue is uh, if you shoot like right near the center of the door, uh, the portal would still fiddle because that's just how doors in general work. So you have to shoot slightly off center. So if you shoot it that quick, it can happen that it just fiddles anyway. So most people like to aim the shot for a bit, but that's Hello again. Connor's just a fast lad. Uh, goes for a door launch, but doesn't quite get it there. That's Chris, but also with a relatively quick shot, Max. Yeah, shooting in the elevator obviously makes it go quicker. Alternatively, you can also spin around frantically. Little known fact that also speeds it up. Ooh, Connor dies. Doesn't quite make his way into the portal there. Okay, there we go. So it's pretty much perfect. Eh, get teleported through. Yeah, on most save glitches, you can just uh, get stuck on the portal and then save load. But on this one, if you walk into it too hard, you just get teleported over, and that's not optimal. So you have to do it in a very specific way so that it doesn't teleport you through, but you can still save glitch. Oh, I didn't, didn't even look at Crispo. Ah, Crispo a little slower there, but gets it anyways. Gets to say glitch, nice. Long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free and to yeah, pass out. that say glitch right there completely skips Chamber 12, which you don't even see. It puts you right in front of the ending elevator of Chamber 12. Since uh, at the start of the game, a lot of a lot of the maps are like two chambers in one, so there's no like map load in between them, and you can skip from like one to the other or preserve save glitches quite easily when there's no map load in between. Connor having some trouble with his portal shots. Ooh, well, it's pretty quick. Eh, not quite the best ending he gets there, but at least he got it. You know, optimally, want a portal, uh, your ending portal, there to be on the ceiling, so you can just fall out of it and use that momentum to fling up to the elevator already. Yeah, it's all about the same difference here. Connor being like 20 seconds ahead, I want to say. Maybe even less than 20, I don't know. Ah, CRISPR. A little bit of trouble, oh yeah. Reloads there, since uh, as soon as you jump there, you activate the elevator trigger. And from there, you're on a timer, because you need to get into the elevator before it gets up, so you only have a few seconds after you hit it there. And there you like wasted enough, uh, wasted too much time after hitting the elevator, so you couldn't make it anyway, so you just decided to reload there. Good thinking. Yeah, Connor's, Connor's one of the best people at 1617, and it is one of the hardest strats, if not the hardest. Yeah, that's, that's what we saw on Christmas over there. He hit the elevator but didn't make it out in time, so it went up even while he was still in there. Uh, he's a little short on the timing again. Yeah, he has to go back to some earlier save. Ooh, that's that's a very early save. That's the start of 16. <laughs> it's not looking good for CRISPR. 
the enrichment center is required to remind Ooh, you that you will beautiful be toad kill. And then there will be Just pain. yeets it all over the room. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. Yeah, that puts CRISPR behind by like a minute, I want to say. That's, that, was, that was quite huge. I mean, anything can happen. Maybe. Maybe Connor, Connor's game crashes. I don't know. <laughs> when you are done, you will drop the device in the equipment recovery annex. Enrichment center regulations require both. Yeah, the PBs are only minutes apart, but in terms of portal, that is quite huge. I mean, most people can. Most people have, like, if they just do no reset runs as these are, can get, like, an average runtime of under a minute above their PBs easily. So, Connor can, on average, beat Crisper's PB, which is not quite in Crisper's favor there. <laughs> and once again, just, uh, as I said, results in the situation that, in Crisper's case here, his only chance to win a match really is that he gets very lucky and that Connor gets very unlucky, <laughs> essentially. That's what he did to well we can hold M sushi after all. That's looking like a sure win for Connor here. Already on the last map while Crisper still has four maps to go. <laughs> Gets the first AAG. Yeah. Uh, for these ones, you actually use an angled surface, which you can't even see. That little platform there on the wall is supposed to, like, open up. But the hitbox for, like, the opened up platform, which is kind of angled, uh, is already there, and you can shoot portals on it. Which is pretty nice. So it looks like there's just a portal floating in midair. Shoots in the calls and oh, it's like eleven fourteen. That's pretty good. That's my PB. <laughs> Very good run from Connor. Well, only like twenty seconds behind his PB. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Not not a real chance for Crisp on this one. See how how Crisper can finish this one. Okay, he's not he's not still on the best pace. You know that, right? Looks like he'll be finishing at uh, maybe a low thirteen, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, miss yeah. Bad thing about this sacred is uh, you can't really immediately tell if you like goof up one of the shots. So if you just like slightly misplace a few of them, that sort of just stacks up and then it doesn't work out in the end. So you pretty much just have to hit the shots, be confident, and then if it doesn't work in the end, you just have to reload and do the whole save clutch again. Since some of these angles are rather precise. Yeah. That little rainbow effect there is not out of bounds, by the way. That's just untextured when you're inside a wall. All right, <laughs> nice images there from Crisper. He f he forfeits. Doesn't doesn't even want to finish that run. Uh, Crisper's PB is an eleven thirty nine, while Connor is sitting at a ten fifty one, which is quite the big difference when it's a ten minute game. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, Connor. It's funny seeing you here. Yeah. 
I, I, I get around. <laughs> that was uh, uh, that second one was pretty good. Yeah, it was solid overall. Yeah. The first race, I struggled in escape, but I can't be yeah. too upset about it. <laughs> yeah, Crystal was very unfortunate on both races. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Dang. Kind of had a, had a bit of trouble with most things. <laughs> oh no. I remember, yeah, in like 16, 17, in the second one, he hit the elevator and then I couldn't get out and misplaced the saves. So he, oh, so he had to reload an auto save at the start of 16 as well. And that lost him like 30 seconds alone and stuff like that. That sucks. That kind of happened to me in 18 in the first race. Oh, yeah. I uh, I whiffed the shot and then save loaded at the end. <laughs> so I, so I had to redo the entire save glitch. Yeah. yeah, that's the worst part because if you do that you don't have your old save glitch save anymore yeah <laughs> should use two binds to be honest tbh yeah let's let's check the brackets that means uh you will go on to oh it's like semi-finals is it actually nice yep i'm not gonna be uh, doing another race for a good bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll be playing the winner of ramil versus zeta and crisper will go on to I can't read. Uh... CRISPR will eventually play against the winner of uh, Sushi and Jonah, won't he? Uh, only if he gets five and loses brackets. Right now, he'll, he'll be playing Shazal or Elgest or Bill, and then. Yeah, he'll. If he plays Sushi, he'll have to play Sushi in the finals of Losers Round again. Gotcha. Which is possible. I mean, in his in his top part of losers bracket, there, there's so far, mm -hmm. pretty much only Shazel. That's really maybe my role. It could be an issue for him. Oh, and icy. Well, no, icy drops. Maybe. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. That was was some fun races. So, uh, do we have any other races today? Oh, we don't have so. any. We don't have any today, but we have two more tomorrow. Three more tomorrow. Really? No, just two. Dummy. I'm looking at three on the schedule. Reload. One of them was cancelled, I think. <laughs> oh. Got him. God damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I refresh some of the... it still shows up. By the way. <laughs> some of the speed gaming stuff going on right now. Some Metroid, some A Link to the Past, some One Shots. Be sure to peep that out. One Shot is a good game. And yeah, thanks for racing. Thanks for hanging thanks out. Thanks for everyone. commentating. Every time, lad. Always down to commentate these good races. Uh, so yeah, see y'all. Have a good see y'all.